Hello everyone. What you see here is a real SQL interview problem that was asked in a recent data analyst interview. Now this is for someone with four years of experience. The problem statement basically states, given a list of matches in the group stage of a football world cup, compute the number of points each team currently has. You are given two tables. There is a teams table and there are a matches table. Now I have already created these two tables with the sample data that was given in my PostgreSQL database. And you can see that in the teams table, we have two different fields. There is a teams ID and there is a team name. Now the team name, as you can see, is kind of like a made up name. Then we have the matches table, which has information related to five different matches that were played between these two teams. So there is a match ID, the team that was the host, the team that was basically the guest team, the goals scored by the host team and the goals scored by the guest team. Okay. So these are the information that is given to us. Now, what they have described in the problem statement is each record in the teams table represents a single football team. Each record in the matches table represents a finished match between the two teams. Teams, both the host team and the guest team are represented by their IDs in the teams table, team ID. No team plays a match against itself. You know the result of each match, that is the number of goals scored by each team. You would like to compute the total number of points each team has scored after all the matches described in the table. The scoring rules are as follows. So in the input table that is given, we do not have the score. We have the goals that each team has scored and we need to calculate that score. The score can be calculated using the formula or the rule that is mentioned here. If a team wins a match, scores strictly more goals than the other team, it receives three points. So the winning team gets three points. If a team draws a match, scores exactly the same number of goals as the opponent, it receives one point. So whenever a match is draw, both the teams will receive one point each. If a team loses a match, scores fewer goals than the opponent, it receives no points. That means the losing team gets zero points. Write an SQL query that returns the ranking of all teams, team ID described in the teams table. For each team, you should provide its name, the number of goals or the number of points it received after all the described matches, that is number of points. The table should be ordered by number of points in decreasing order. In case there is a tie, order the rows by the team ID in ascending order. Okay. So the sample data, as I showed you in the table is basically given and the expected output is something like this. Never gonna give you up. Okay. So the team should probably end up in this order. Now you'll be able to download the problem statement, the scripts, data sets, everything from my blog. I will leave a link to the blog in the video description. So you can check that out. In fact, you can probably pause the video and try to solve the problem yourself. And many of you would probably be able to solve the problem. And many of you might not be able to solve the problem. You might struggle, but you can agree that this is a very interesting SQL problem, right? Now, if you want to solve similar SQL problems, real SQL interview problems, then I think you should definitely consider joining my SQL bootcamp, the live SQL bootcamp that is currently going on. Now the bootcamp started three weeks back, but it's going to last for another two weeks. But even if you have missed the live classes, you can still watch the recording as many times as you want. Now, why do I say it's still a good time for you to join the bootcamp? Because in the first three weeks of the bootcamp, I covered all the important concepts. We basically covered three different projects. We solved a lot of SQL problems. But in the next two weeks, I'll mainly be focused on solving real interview problems. So if you want to solve real interview problems, then I think it's still a very good time for you to join the bootcamp. All the details are present in the video description. You can go to the video description and check out all the contents that will be covered. And if you're interested, you can definitely join the bootcamp. Now, let me get back into my PostgreSQL database and try to solve it. So let's see at my teams table, I have five records here. And then let's look at my matches table. Now in the matches table, I have information about all the matches and I have the goals that were scored by the host team and the guest team, right? Now, what I need here, the most important thing is I need the score. Every time a team one basically scored more goals than the other team, it gets three points. If the match is drawn, it gets one point each. And if, if a team loses a match, it gets zero points, right? Now with this understanding, we can easily probably create two new entries here or two new columns in our query 
to show the score of the host team and the guest team, right? And that is going to be my starting point. So what I'll do is, first of all, I'll just comment out this one and I'll just use the matches table. So in the matches table, I have information about all of this. I want to add two new columns. First, I want to calculate the score of the host team, right? So how I can do that is I can say case when the host goals is greater than the guest goals, then the host team gets three points, right? So I think this is pretty clear. Now, what happens when the host team scores less goals than the guest team? In that case, the host team basically gets zero point because the host team lost the match. So zero points. What is the next thing? That is a draw. That means if it does not win the match or lose the match, then it's definitely a draw. And if it is a draw, then both the teams will get one point. So I'll just say one. Okay, and I'll end the case statement. And I'm going to call this like, let's say, host score. And I'll do the same thing to find the score of the guest team. So I'll just copy paste this one and I'll just replace the host team with the guest team. So I'll remove this one. I'll put it here and I'll put it here and I'll put it here. So now I'm comparing if the guest goals is greater than the host goal, then the guest team gets three points. If the guest goal is less than the host goals, then it's going to get zero points. Else it will be a draw. Then the guest team will get one point. Okay. And I'm going to call this like the guest score. And now if I just run this query, you can see that two new columns are added here. Okay. It's the columns are not added in the table, but just in my query. And you can see that based on these goals that are scored by the host of the guest team, I have calculated the score. So three, if they win one, if they draw, and zero if they lose, right? So I think this is pretty simple. Anyone would be able to understand this. Now, the next thing that I need to do is I want to aggregate these values because some of these teams would have played multiple matches. For example, the host team that is 30 has played one match here, another match here and another match here, right? I want to aggregate it so that I can sum up the total scores that they have done. But since the host and the guest teams are present in two different columns. I cannot aggregate them probably together now. Okay, it would not be easier. The easier way is I aggregate the and find the total scores of host team separately and guest team separately, right? And that's what I will do. Now, in order to do that, I probably need to write another query. So what I'll do is I'll move this into a CTE. I'll just tell with CTE as I'll move this into the right. And here I'll put the parenthesis and let me just show you the query, the data here. So select star from CTE. And if I execute it, you can see that I am getting the same result, right? Now what I want is I want to aggregate the scores, basically sum up the scores for the host team. Let's start with the host team. So what I'll do is I will group the data by the host team. So host team, right? And I'll just put the same thing in my select clause. And I want to sum up the host score, right? So the host score. And I'll just call it like, let's say, total host score, okay? And if I just run this, you can see that I'm getting three records because probably there were th three teams who participated like a host team, right? And their total score that they have scored in all of their matches, I'm getting it here, right? Now, the same thing I could also do for the guest team, right? So what I'll do is, first of all, I'll move this into another CTE, okay? And I'll put a comma here. I will say this is my host team. So I'll give a name like host as, and I'll put this query inside the parenthesis. And I will basically copy the same thing and do for the guest team, okay? So now the same query, I'll just replace host with guest, okay? And I'll do that for every column that I have used here. So host with guest and okay. And now just for the sake of showing you the result, I'll just tell select star from guest, okay? So I hope you are understanding what I'm doing here. Just three different subqueries inside the CT with different names. If I only want to see what I'm getting from guest, I can just do a select star from guest. If I run it, now you can see that I am getting this data for the guest team. So if I just copy this and let's say if I put it here, okay. So in the guest team, there are 
three teams who participated as a guest. Team 30, 50 and 20 and total scores they have done is it's mentioned here, right? Now, if I look at my host and if I run it and if I run it, you can see that I am getting 30, 10 and 20. That means the team 30, team 10 and team 20 participated as the host team and they have these values, these scores that they have got. But if you see here, the team 30 participated as a host team as well as as a guest team. Team 20 also participated as a host team as well as as a guest team. But then team 10 is only participated as a host team. It's not present in the guest result, right? Whereas team 50 participated only as a guest team, but it's not present in the host result. So I need to bring them together so that I can aggregate all the values together. Because whether it's a host team or a guest team, I need to treat them like just a team, right? And then I need to sum up their total score. So in order to bring them together, so you can see that 20, the total score would be 3 plus 1. So for 20, the total score should be 4. And same way, I need to aggregate for all the other teams, right? So I need to join the host with the guest, right? But if I just do an inner join, I'm going to lose some of the records because 50 is only in guest and 10 is only in host, right? So I need all the data from host as well as all the data from guest. So I think here, instead of doing an inner join, what I should basically do is I should do a full join. So that's what I'll do. I'll say full join with the guest table. I'll give an alias like G. And for the host, I'll give an alias like H. I'll say G dot, I think it's the guest team is equal to H dot the host team, right? And here, let's say I will display everything for now, okay? So four records are getting displayed. I'm having the host team, host score, guest team, and guest score, okay? Now this looks perfect. Now what I need next is I need to sum the values for the same team, right? Whether they are a host team or guest team, I don't care. I should treat them like just one team, right? So let me first merge the two teams together. If you just focus on the two columns, that is the host team and the guest team, you can see here in the first row, it's 30, 30. Second row is 10 and null because 10 was only participated as a host team. It never participated as a guest team. So it's null here. 20 is present in both the places here. And then 50 is only participated as a guest, but not as a host, right? Now, simply I can say that in every record is representing data for one team, right? So wherever it is null, I could probably take the not null column, right? So what I could do here is I could use a call is, and I can say the host team, comma, guest team, and call this entire thing as just team right? So I should hopefully get 30, 10, 20 and 50. So if I run it, I'm getting 30, 10, 20 and 50. Okay. So basically I merged the two fields and I'll just display the other uh, values as well. I'll just put a star here. So this is my total team that I have got. Now I can ignore the host team and the guest team fields. I still need to consider the total host score. So I will just put that column names here, total host score and total guest score. If I run it, now you can see that I have the team, then I have the host score and the guest score. But I need to sum them together, right? But I could just sum this column with this column, but there are some null values. So in order to replace null values, I basically can replace it with zero, right? Because what null means is that probably they did not play a match as a guest, but I could then say their total score was also zero, right? So I can replace this null with zero. So I can say call lease of this one with zero and I'll name it like the same thing total host score and I'll do the same thing for the guest score. So call lease of total guest score comma zero as total guest score. Now I'm still getting the same data just that the null values are replaced with zero. Okay. Now this is fine. Now I could just sum up this with this to get the total score for each team. Right. So I'll just do it in the next column. So I'll add this one plus I'll add the guest score. Okay. And this what I see here is my total score and I'm going to name it like as number of points. Okay. Now if you look carefully here in the number of points for 30 and 10, they have three points. If I go back to my expected output, 30 and 10, they have three points, whereas 20 and 50 have four points. 
20 and 50 have four points. That's exactly what I wanted, right? I don't need the middle two columns. So I will just remove that. And now if I run it, you can see that I have the teams and their score. Now this is fine, but there's one thing missing. And that is, I have totally five teams, right? If in my teams table, I have five teams. But in my query here, I only got four teams. Why? Because probably there is one team that has never played any match. So its information was not present in the matches table. So what I need to do in order to get data for that team as well, because if you look here, the team 40 is also shown up in the output and its points is zero because it did not play any match yet, right? So in order to show all the teams, I need to do a right join with the teams table. So I fetch every information from the teams table. I'll give an alias T and I'm going to join it using the team dot team ID with equal to, I think this field, right? This field here. And this field is basically coming from this call is. So I'll put it here. Okay. If I run it, I'm getting an error because I think, okay. So the thing that I missed out here is the join keyword. So right join. Now, if I run it, you can see that the fifth record is showing up. Okay. Now, this is fine, but I want to replace this null with the actual team name. In this case, it's null. It's showing null because I'm displaying team from either the host team or the guest team. But there is a team that is team 40, which has not participated in any match. So it won't be present in this entry here or in the matches table, but it will be present in the teams table. So for the call is I'll add a third argument saying that T dot team ID. And if I run it, now you can see that this is a record that is showing up from the teams table. Okay. Because team 40 never played a match. Now I think this is fine, but I just want to sort the data properly. Uh, but before sorting, I also want to display the team name, right? So team name, I'll just display it here saying that T dot team name. And I have the team name and I want to sort the data based on the requirement that was given, sort it based on the number of points in decreasing order. So I'll say order by number of points that is this one in decreasing order and if there is a tie then order based on the team id so i'll say team and now i think if i run it this is basically my final output so i have never gonna give you up and that's exactly what i wanted never i think not this one but never gonna give you up okay and the total score is 44330 and the same thing here okay so this is basically the solution to the problem i hope you understood this problem it might look a little lengthy but i hope this was an interesting problem so again if you want to solve more such problems if you want to look at more interesting sql problems definitely consider joining my sql bootcamp all the details are there in the video description thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon in the next one bye